back. The Sisters of the Valley are not your average nuns. For starters, they grow medical marijuana. They have no connection to the Catholic Church. So uh, naturally, that combination had us curious. Gina Silva is live with more on the nuns and their medical marijuana business. You gotta explain this one, Gina. I know I do. Good morning, Stephen Aroxia. Yeah, you know, these women are very interesting. They say they're extremely spiritual, but not in a religious way. They consider themselves activists, and they are in the business of helping people in pain. Now, they allowed us into their secret sanctuary. Take a look. They call themselves Sisters of the Valley. The earth is our mother. We must take care of her. The and they're on a holy mission to alleviate suffering through marijuana. We put our prayer into our medicine making. We do everything by moon cycle and we do it in a spiritual environment. Their spiritual environment is surrounded by weed. A lot of weed. This down here is all cannabis we grew. Get a smell of that. The nuns don't belong to any organized religion. They say they wear their outfits simply as a devotion to their weed. We're not traditional nuns. We don't get up every morning at the crack of dawn and pray. Our prayer goes into our work. Our prayer goes into the medicine making. Our prayer goes into the plants. And some of those plants are grown and harvested right on their land in Central California, a location they've asked us not to reveal. The sisters use the plants to sell different products like saps, creams, and oils for things like headaches, anxiety, and depression. The cannabis plant has two major medical compounds. One is THC, it gets you stoned or relaxed. One is CBD. We would love to use the whole plant to make our tinctures, oils, teas, but if we did that, we wouldn't be able to ship our products out of the state. And they tell us business is booming. We sold $60,000 worth of product. This year we've done 15 times that. We were given a personal tour of their property. Did you ever think you would get into this business? No. <laughs> no, no, I never, never dreamt that I would end up being a weed nun. This is our prayer gazebo. And so here's where we are most likely to come and pray for people that ask us to pray for them. We are a circle within a circle. Gina, this is our girl cave. This is where the women no hang out. No man cave here. That's There's great. no man cave, it's a girl cave. But not everyone is happy with the sisters. The Catholic Church isn't thrilled they call themselves nuns, and critics are often leaving nasty messages. So, so we think it's kind of funny because the reaction from the public is, weed okay, weed nuns not. And so we feel a bit like we've been called to be a decoy. As if they're angry at us for being nuns, at least they're no longer disputing the medicinal benefits of cannabis. We must take care of her. And they tell us their goal is to empower women, create more jobs, and help people who are suffering. There are wheat nuns at six different locations in the United States, and they tell us that the number is growing. Steve Aroxia.